Okay, so let's talk about the customizer section, uh, which is basically like an area where you can config most of the global options for your site. So where we would need to go for that is appearance and customize, and that should take us straight into the customize screen. And here we can see a preview of our website. And of course we've got all of our options on the left hand side here. Um, on the first tab we have our presets and we can choose whichever preset to get us going. Um, I tend to just stick with the default to be honest because to me the default is like the, you know, the, the blankest uh, area for me to do most of my designs. So I tend to stick with the default but the choice is totally up to you. The next tab we have is to do with the layout and other things like the color of the background, your accent colors. The accent colors are basically colors like links and buttons and what uh, they would be. So you could choose a color from here and that should keep it. You can have a look at setting the default style for all of your um, headers within your website so for instance this all links up to google fonts you will see most if not all of the google fonts here i can just choose whichever google font that will be and my headers should change automatically as you can see here and on the sidebar as well i can also choose a default color for that as well okay um and again these are just defaults um you can if you want go within the page and change the color um, of your header if you need to. They don't always have to be this way. But it's always good to have some kind of default setting on your website so there is consistency throughout your design. Um, the same with the text, you can change the default of the text. Um, you could change the weight of it, the font size, all of that good stuff. And as soon as you can, just save it. I would not recommend using any of the presets that I've just done here, it looks horrendous. Um, there's also options for headers as well. So you can have a top bar at the moment you can't actually see it, but if I activate it, you will have a top bar that should appear right above where it says Ethan. You see, it's just there. Hasn't got anything in it at the moment, but let's put something in it. Hello. Okay, so that's a one column layout, but we can also have a two column layout as well. And here we have the option to have that column layout be different things. So it could be text, it could be text and social icons, etc. etc. Another thing as well we can customize is the actual header. So we've got different ways that the header can be displayed. So here we've got nav bottom, and what you'll see is this navigation should hit down here. You see? So you can click on any of these to uh, get the appropriate header for your design. There is a way as well to fully, fully, fully customize the header and the footer, but again, it's not gonna be shown just yet. I'm gonna do a completely separate tutorial on how you can fully, fully customize these uh, elements on your website. So really, it's all about going through each of these um, uh, features and just setting the default settings. A lot of people tend to miss this out or don't think it's that important, but me personally, I think it is super important and probably the first place you should go to after you've added your license key. Now, another option here you would see is code. And some people um, want to use things like AdWords or they want to use Google Analytics and they're not quite sure where they need to place the code. Um, if you go to the customizer and click on code, here where it says header code, this is where you would put all of that type of script. So if you go into Google Analytics, it should give you a script. You literally just copy and paste it here where it says header code. The same with the footer code, any code that you get that you might think is relevant to go in there, that's exactly where you would put it as well. You can also add JavaScript code, but again, that would be a global feature. So any JavaScript that you put here will be global throughout the whole uh, website. There is an option to add JavaScript per page rather than throughout the whole website as well, but it's totally up to you. There's also the settings page. Again, you could just put the name in. So I'm going to put in my name and that should automatically change in the header as well. It's a bit slow at the moment. I'm not quite sure why. 
um, but here we go. Okay, so anything else? Yes, there is an export and import feature here which you can use. So if you need to export the customizer settings into another WordPress um, site, i.e. you don't wanna start from scratch because you have a default kind of setting that you kind of go with, like if you always use Open Sans or you always have a particular color that you like for links, you can, you know, do like a generic export so then you don't have to go through all of the settings again and you can just upload it to another WordPress site and that should work so I'm not going to save any of my settings here so I'm just going to click here where it says the X leave and now everything should go back to its default let's hope and pray yes it has 